Welcome back here with Nate28, this is Cross Beats Production. So thanks again guys, really appreciate all the likes, subscribes, you uh, viewing my videos, just everything you guys do for the channel, it's just great to have um, such a cool audience that I um, can, you know, produce tutorials for. So um, I want to show you guys continuation of this, um, I guess the feature that you can do with the splitter tool within Studio One. Um, it has a couple of features, so I didn't cover all of them in the last video, so I wanted to show you guys a few of the newer, um, I guess, ideas you could use. Not so much newer, but um, just features you can use in Studio One that are uh, definitely there for the taking. So first off, um, the splitter tool, which obviously you guys would be aware of because I showed you that in the previous video. Um, I showed you how to do mid-side processing, so if you look at my previous video, you'll see how to do mid-side processing for any compressor or any EQ or anything for that matter. Um, this time I'm going to show you guys how to use a splitter to do sidechain filtering on a compressor. So basically I've set up the SSL bus which is the older now legacy version of the UAD um, SSL bus. You could do this with the Waves version, you could do this with any version of compressor for that fact, um, even the stock one inside of Studio One. So you load up a stock uh, VST compressor, you can do the same thing. So the way you do it is you put a splitter on top of your compressor. So basically, if I was to delete this, um, obviously it would just be the splitter, but I'll just drop another one in just for the sake of it. Um, now, minus this one, just, just actually I'll just remove it for now. So you basically have your splitter here. This is what it would look like um, when you first set a splitter up. The next thing you would do is drag across the compressor onto the right-hand side of that splitter. Um, because the way that this sidechain filter works is basically if you d hit this thing down here, filter frequency split, um, it will allow you, to, obviously from whatever is upwards is on the right hand side and downwards from here, so blue the blue section here, this is on the left hand side. So pretty much just think of it as the highlighted section here, this is all on the left and anything that's not highlighted, pretty much anything from 66 hertz all the way up to 20k um, is on the right hand side. So that allows you to split your frequency of what the low end frequencies versus top end frequencies go into this compressor. So it's just a really cool function if you're trying to get, you know, less pumping on your compressor, which especially with the SSL, um, it's known for that feature. It's known for having a lot of pumping on that compressor. So it's definitely great that you can set up a sidechain filter to allow certain frequencies to go into the compressor and some to bypass it and go straight through into the next signal chain of processing. So it's just a really quick tutorial. I wanted to show you guys this really quick technique, um, how to use it and what to do to set it up. So basically, like I said, you get your splitter, you can send whatever frequency. So normally, I guess somebody, you know, most people use 80 hertz or maybe 100 hertz, depending on where you want the, I guess, the filter to cut off at. Um, bearing in mind, this filter is kind of like a 12 dB per octave slope from what I can see. Um, I put on some white noise earlier above the splitter and then split it and I could kind of tell what it was by the spectrum. The next thing is if you guys want to set it up, so I'll just go back. The cool thing about Studio One is you can actually do that. It's, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what other DAW can do the stuff this, this one can do. So anyway, what I do is I put a spectrometer on my splitter as well because basically on the right hand side, it shows me the frequencies that have curved up and the kind of octave, I guess, that you're getting with the, the cutoff of the, the splitter there. So it's definitely helpful to know the kind of frequencies you're getting inside your, your um, split. And I'll just quickly play this. Obviously, I'm going to just quickly play it so you guys can see it. So as you can see, it's kind of got a bit of a slope down here. It gives me a bit of uh, like a really gradual kind of slope. That's more like an 18 dB per octave, maybe even a 6 dB. It just depends how you want to look at it, I guess. Depends on the signal source as well. Um, but anyway, it's definitely a very beneficial thing to use if you just want to have that nice kind of slope that spreads up and gives you some of the kick in the actual mix, but not cutting it off with the actual compressor. So um, fantastic thing. Just wanted to show you guys this and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Any questions as per usual, make them in the comments. Um, you guys can have conversation through yourselves as well. If you want to help each other out, I'm cool with that. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.